book a tea time with one or more members. This tutorial of iMaster online reservation system for members will guide and show you how to do a booking with some members. Once we access into our members private area, the first screen, what we're going to see is the actual calendar where we can see marked with an R, reserve, the days we can book on. To be able to book tea times together with other members, the first thing you need to do is to add them as friends on your iMaster system. This is a very straightforward process and only needs to be done once. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the Friends tag. You can see I've already got a friend added here, Sylvia, and we are going to continue to add two other friends so we can complete a four ball flight. By clicking on the Add Friend button, it gives us surname, where we type, for example, De Miguel. We have De Miguel Escudero Ricardo is here. All we need to do is click on his name and send him the friend's request. Automatically, he will come up on my list of friends. We're going to add another friend. Click on the button and type in the first initials of his surname, Fernanda, normally enough. We have got Alberto here. We include him and again we're going to send him a friend's request. A few seconds after, he is already on our list of friends. As we've mentioned before, all the friends you add on your list will permanently remain here, so it's only a one-off that you need to add members you normally play with. So now that we have our list of members sorted, we go back to the initial screen by clicking on the calendar tag and we're going to book a time on Sunday the 24th. Again, we click on the day and we click on book. This will show us the online booking. At the top, it states the date we book to play. Again, we select the tee, the holes we want to play and the number of golfers. As we can see, that day we've got this availability on the first tee so we're going to pick to play at 13.45 on the first tee with four players in total. Once we've done that, we click on the Block Green Fees Black button and again we get a three minutes counter. My name already appears on here and instead of clicking on Add Guest, we are now going to click on Add New Members. As we had already added them, it's very straightforward. I will click on the name if I try to add the same player twice, it will give me a message saying he is already included in the game. So I will add the fourth player. You can see there is still plenty of time and we will now click on finish the booking. Again, we get a message at the top saying we've successfully completed the reservation and if we go down to the bottom and click return, it will take us back to the reservation screen where you would be able to make further changes if you think it is necessary. If we wanted to cancel that booking, all we need to do is go on View Details and Remove. This again will give us a message that we cancelled the booking. If we click Return, you may see that the reservation no longer exists. You may check your iMaster notifications by clicking on the Message button, where you may find a folder where you're able to check on all your booking operations. Every time you make a booking or you cancel, it will be recorded and appear here. So here, for example, we will see that we confirmed to play May the 24th, which is the booking we did with the other members, and here we'll get a notification of the cancellation we just made. If we've got a lot of messages here and we want to get rid of them, we can just click Remove. I hope that this tutorial has been useful to you. If you still need further assistance, please ask any of our staff members. They will be more than happy to help.